Hey everyone, welcome back for another shave. Today, we're gonna to be using Silver Cabin by McDuff's Grooming. Frugal shave, lightsaber handle, 24 millimeter blood knot, carved Christopher Bradley, brass, seat plate. Let's get this going. So I hope you guys are doing well. I wanna thank you for joining me for another shave. I really appreciate it. Appreciate the support channel's getting very close to 500 subs which I didn't think we're actually gonna make this year so I really appreciate all the new subscribers and for sure all my subscribers have been with me for two years three years now it's really really appreciated guys it's family week I consider this channel a family you know you're my brothers my sisters I really appreciate you guys supporting me family week ties into BBS live Melly Mel Nate dog if you know Mel he does Theme of the week every week. So that's what this week's about. This is my Thirsty Badger. I call it my loading bowl. We're going to do something a little different today. I might make this video a little longer, guys. I'm going to load it up. And I'm going to try a face ladder. I haven't done a face ladder in a long time. So. You can tell it's pretty much out of there. Maybe we'll see if I put enough in there. Oh man, this is a great scent. You know, McDuff's just released, I believe, or is just about to release their autumn cabin again. Hoping I can get that one, but I highly doubt it. Funds are a little tight right now. But it's a wonderful scent. Uh, as for family week, this soap and uh, match it after shave splash are currently the favorite scent in the den for my middle and eldest daughter. Um, when I ask them why, reminds them of our cabin um, and they love being out there hopefully that continues as they get into teenage right? my oldest is just about there but um i thought that was pretty cool so i'm not going to talk a lot about the ingredients on this soap mcduff's uh, i've talked about a lot and i love it sean's doing a great job with it he's just changed up his labels if people have problems with the labels so there are not water resistant, I'll call them like these ones, but they're waterproof. So that's pretty cool. I never really have much of an issue, but I get it. So I may have overloaded this too, because McDuff's can take a ton of water, guys. So, oops. Oh, yeah. There is just about one day's growth here. I uh, did an afternoon shave yesterday in the Canadian Wet Shavers for Family Week. So, probably should have shaved that and uploaded it, or saved it and uploaded it for you guys too, but oh well. Good scent strength. Kind of a, it's like a bright citrusy note in it. Um, it's toned down, it's got a little bit of floral, very, very minor. Uh, some woodsiness, and I would say you get a little bit of earthiness with it too. Check out the notes. So one thing Sean does, the notes are always, I think always, always on the side label. So this one says citrus, lemongrass, spice, rose, geranium, vetiver, sandalwood, and jasmine. And my kids just call it cabin. <laughs> Even though I have spring cabin too, this one reminds them the most of the cabin. Uh, this brush for family week. You guys have seen me use it before. It was one of the shave items that my father and my mother bought for me before my father passed away. So it holds a special place in my heart. Uh, my dad never really got or understood my shaving. Um, can never convince him of it. Whatever, it wasn't his thing. But uh, he supported me in it. So there you go. This thing makes such an easy lather. I'm there already. But I like playing with lather a little bit, guys. 
if you haven't noticed. Wow. It's hard to believe we're into October already. The year's just flying by. Uh, it should be October 3rd today, I believe. Sunday the 3rd, is that correct? I think so. My wife is actually taking my kids uh, Halloween costume shopping this afternoon. And she told me just to stay home and chill. So I was like, okay, I'm not going to tell I'll dodge that for now. <laughs> I have enough other stuff to do anyways. But um, it was really cool. Yeah, this is, now i got almost too much moisture in it, but it's okay. Wonderful, wonderful lather. Good enough. So, there we go. As I said earlier, the razor for today, oops, missed that piece, is something I don't pull out too often. I'm not use a lot of DEs anymore, guys. Um, but for family week, this carve, well, almost this carve. I originally had a four inch handle, this is a three and a half. My wife bought me for Christmas. Um, I think it was, was it 2017 or 2018 the first year car was around. I can't remember. That's when I got this. So I have a fresh gelatinase set in it. Let's start with, with the grain, guys. Very smooth. Uh, is the C uh, solid bar, safety bar, whatever you want to call it. That's going to bloop off soon. So you may notice um, when I use DEs or SEs, my passes differ slightly from a straight. And that's because I can't do stuff like this with a straight. <laughs> I think that's a good way to really cut your throat. So I get the straight as close as I can, but uh, I can definitely manipulate uh, the DEs and the SEs. More. <laughs> I do want to really uh, also thank you guys for the support and the comments on my last video. That's where I used the Never Alone set from because um, that supports um, mental health and suicide prevention. There from the Razor Company, Ariana and Evans and Justin the Red Island Shaver. I got a lot of great comments on that, a lot of support. I told my story. It's a nice um, private DMs also. I uh, just really, really appreciate everything you guys, uh, you know, the likes, the comments, everything about that. So thank you very much, guys. I'm back to this shade. <laughs> um, everything's feeling wonderful. Well, of course, that's just with the grain. It's easier to pass, obviously. But everything feels great. Um, protection, slickness. To me, almost the same thing, really. As long as it's slick and gives me, lets me, uh, has that layer there of the product of slickness, allows that blade to glide, it's protecting my skin. So, we're golden. Um, if you haven't used McDuff's grooming, uh, especially your V4, guys, V4 is freaking awesome. It checks every box for me personally. Uh, Ease of use, lathers like no problem, um, good sense, excellent performance, and the availability is getting better again because Sean's getting things looked after. So, honestly, try it out if you haven't. See if you can find a scent that you like and uh, give it a whirl. I think you'll be impressed. I'm sure most of you've tried it though. Uh, across the grade. Mm. 
<laughs> so, just I don't use these lock guys. Doesn't mean I don't like them. Ton residual there. Um, <clears throat> I just I prefer the straight razor experience. That's all. And if it's not for you, that's cool. It's not for everyone. If you ever want to give the straight a try, you have questions, need help, advice, whatever, you DM me. Uh, I'm always there, but well, I'll always try to respond. How's that sound? You can email me, message me, whatever. All my contact information is always below. Man. It's great shit. It's stupid. Excuse my language, sorry. That went very well, very quick. Oh, yeah. This is actually perfect scent for today too. It's a nice Sunday, a little bit of wind out. Um, obviously wind to fall. Oops. This is what I gotta be careful of. I'm gonna hide these so it doesn't happen, but that's okay. Get a big, big water droplet on it. I don't like that. <clears throat> Here's coffee for you guys. Yeah, it's after lunch and I'm still drinking coffee. <laughs> Excuse me, but um, Good stuff. This is really good stuff. Damn. Oh, got some of my glasses. It happens. Clean it up after. Up to the against the grain here. So oh, yeah, like this is just too easy, guys. Sorry. <laughs> wow. I'm loving the shave. I'm really enjoying it. it feels perfect. So, what's new with you guys? Any new mail calls that are exciting? Anything interesting going on? Me? Not a lot. You know, some of the same old, same old. We're, um, Always dealing with my daughter's health issues. Thankfully, the school's been great, her new school. Made some great friends there, she has. So it's awesome. And we're uh, doing some more testing for her. Unfortunately, it was going to take about three to four years, I think they said it was, to get through the medical system right now. They figured before she get the testing done, and we could pay for it out of pocket. It, needed, it really needs to be done sooner than later. Um, it could affect her life. Um, so, three grand out of my pocket. <laughs> Hence why there's not going to be a lot of shaving stuff coming up in my future. <laughs> Also been into a lot of fragrance videos lately. Um, years and years ago when I first met my wife, I used to have a lot of colognes. And 
children and bills and all that stuff that and I now turn that into shaving. Um, but I'm kind of thinking, you know, I might like to add some more fragrances to my collection again. Again, that's not gonna be anytime soon, I don't think. That's okay. Oh, guys, that shave felt very, very good. Uh -huh. Let's just do a quick feel. There's not much here even for clean up touch ups, maybe a swipe there. Um, so, what I'm going to do, I'm going to clean up my gear off camera, rinse my face, pat dry, and I'll see you guys for the post shave. Hey, I'm back. That was a real quick pause. <laughs> Did zero cleanups, zero touch-ups. It's so close everywhere. It's almost BBS. Um, it's more than close enough for this afternoon. <laughs> Look at like that. Beautiful shade, guys. So let's get the matching uh, splash going. Excuse me. Chug the coffee there. <laughs> I think these are witch ale. Yes. Yeah, they're non alcoholic. Or no alcohol in them, <laughs> which table based alcoholic. Uh, okay, here we go. It smells really nice. I think I get a little more of the lemongrass in the splash with the woodiness being a little more present too. Very nice. Maybe some of the vetiver. It's very, very, very nice. Which is funny. I love these kind of scents. My allergies don't. You know, in real life, this isn't bothering me. I can wear them. It doesn't, it's fine. But there's days at the cabin where I've cleaned out a Kleenex box. So, <laughs> anyways, there's my family week shave for you guys for this week. Um, let's do a quick magic cap for you. So, Summer Cabin. This is the current favorite scent in my den for my middle daughter and my eldest daughter. Frugal Shave and 3D printed Star Wars lightsaber handle, 24 millimeter blood knot. Again, family week as it was a present for my mom and dad before my dad passed. And the car of Christopher Bradley C plate, solid bar, safety bar, whatever you want to call it, uh, for my wife for Christmas in the first year that the car was open. So, beautiful razor, one of my favorite DEs. I guess I don't have a lot anymore, but definitely one of my favorite DEs. So, perfect, guys. Well, again, thank you as always for uh, joining me for a shave. I really appreciate your support. I really appreciate you subscribing to my channel. We're getting close to 500 subs. Holy crap! Wasn't expecting that this year. Um, if we get there, we're going to do a giveaway. I'll figure something out. And, uh, yeah. Leave your comments below. Tell me what kind of gear you've gotten from your family as presents. Or what kind of gear you guys have that um, would fit Family Week in your mind. So, I think it's pretty cool. I really like this theme week Melly Mel gave. I've actually used a lot of family gear this week along. Because I haven't done a lot of shaving day posts for it. So, thank you guys for tuning in. It's always great having you. Appreciate your time. You guys have a wonderful work week. Hopefully it's a good one, and I'll see you next weekend. Cheers.